Hey, hey, another beautiful, amazing day to all people of the way. Welcome to yet another edition of Miracle Mondays. Yeah, and today we want to talk about the beauty of the interconnectedness of our world and the potential that it really provides us with in being able to communicate and collaborate with people from all over the world at whatever time of day we really want to. And it is only continuing to expand as technology evolves. Yes, it is. We can literally reach out to anyone from anywhere at any time. And, you know, when we get to a core understanding that we are sovereign individuals and that when we start projecting our energy signature out into the world, we start manifesting the right kinds of people into our awareness at the right time, no matter what our specific desires are, no matter what our goals are, no matter what our motives are, we are going to manifest those who are in alignment with us at the right time. And as opposed to having gone back 500 years ago and living in a time where we literally only had those who were in our surroundings to connect with, we are able to connect with people from all over the world. And that makes it so much easier to find those who are on our level of awareness, who do resonate with us. We're not just limited to those around us, because if we're going to be honest, those who are on the spiritual journey, those who really take it seriously and are living their truth, it can get pretty lonely, right? It can, it can definitely get very challenging. You know, if we're just left to our own devices and only connect with those around us, it would be that much more challenging, wouldn't it? Oh, it absolutely would. Definitely. I know, I know through like our own experience, we, we found each other, <laughs> you know, through the internet as well, through Facebook specifically. And the, the, that's just one example. It is just one example. The, the closest connection to people that we have uh, with people that are all over the world. You know, it, it's, I don't think I've really found anybody to say that that lives near me, whom I've connected to at the level that I am at, you know, anywhere in my city, you know, and, and it's just crazy because, you know, it's like, well, what did we rely on before? You know, I guess before we just relied on meeting people through family, right? Meeting people through other friends and you kind of just meshed your, you know, friends with friends like that. but to really now be able to connect with people at that spiritual and conscious level that you find yourself at is so incredible because my goodness, I mean, the expansion that we also experience from that, the growth and the learning by connecting with other people that are in alignment with us, even people whom we can learn from and we can learn from everyone, even if we're not in alignment with them, somebody always has something to offer you that you can learn something from them. And, you know, that, that, that is definitely the beauty of, mm. of the, the, the times that we live in right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, even, even just thinking about how these algorithms in social mm -hmm. media work, it's, it's so fascinating because you literally are who you spend time with, who you spend the most time with. And whether you're on a lower level of consciousness or a higher level of consciousness, people that value what you do, that care about what you do, they will start popping up in your feed. And that makes it so much easier for you to connect with those who more than likely have that same level of awareness, you know, and the more people that you reach out to, the more conversations that you have, the more that you are going to experience building 
and creating the most beautiful connections, you know, having established this most beautiful connection with you, Samantha, mm-hmm. I'm so grateful to also have made connections with some of the most beautiful people online. You know, yeah. I can't say that there are a lot of people offline that I really connect with mm-hmm. in this way, I you know, agree. and to, to expand that point, we live in a time where we can speak with anyone through a piece of metal. And if we hop on a metal box, we can fly and be yeah. anywhere that we want to within a matter of hours to meet them in person. You know, that's, that's the time that we're living in. Obviously, it isn't as easy right now for the time being because of the geopolitical situation, mm-hmm. you know, but that's not going to be the case forever. That's right. Yeah. And as we're meeting these people online, you know, that, that's one thing, you know, those who have made the most of this time during this pandemic, this scam-demic, honestly, with how overblown it's gotten, they've been able to reach out to and make some incredible, beautiful connections with people from around the world. And so we just wanted to leave you all with a message and a reminder that there's so much potential in connecting with those from around the world, you know, whether you're trying to expand your level of awareness with what's going on in the world, whether you're trying to establish partnerships in business, whether you're trying to find someone that resonates on your level of awareness and build a romantic relationship with. There's so much potential and so many possibilities when you open yourself up. It can be quite daunting at first, especially if you're not used to speaking with people that you don't know. But let me just remind you, let us just remind you that some of the most beautiful things can happen if you step out of your comfort zone and you allow for new energy to come into your space, for new people to meet you, some of the most incredible things can happen. And it is, it's truly an, a miracle that we can experience things like this in today's day and age. It really is. And, and I think I would like to add also how to, to not be too focused on specifically like a certain type of person that you want to meet I guess not to have conditions right it's it's about letting go of having conditions and just truly being yourself because what you put out is what you are going to attract right the reason why we are able to connect with people that we aligned with online is because we are vibrating at that same frequency, right? And so you need to be able to be in alignment with that frequency to attract them. And I feel that by having attachments to a specific type of person that you're looking for, or, you know, to have certain criteria in the person that you are after, it it really narrows it, you know, you're cutting off a lot by being too focused like that. I think you'll, you're better off focus on yourself and on what it is that you want to be radiating as, right? The frequency that you align yourself with and how you can show yourself to the world and you will attract everything that you are. Yes. Right? Because we are magnetic and we just, we attract everything we are. So don't focus on things that you don't want either because surely enough you will attract it <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right yeah Definitely. you might not like it <laughs> no exactly. yeah exactly yeah and that actually that last point you made regarding presenting yourself fully to the world as you are that leads beautifully in closing to the content that we'll be putting out tomorrow on the topic of family because when you live as you are in the fullness of who you are at your core, you bring people into your awareness that truly love you for who you are, that truly care about what you do. And that is family. So with that in closing, look forward to tomorrow's Truth Talk Tuesdays. That is going to be such an amazing conversation. 
I, I really look forward to having that one with you. Yeah, so do I. Mm -hmm. So yeah, until then, thank you all for tuning in once more, and we'll catch you all tomorrow. Thank you.